how to fix all crashes in Fortnite. First and foremost, what you have to do is you open your Epic Games Launcher. Over here, the very first thing what you have to do is you go to the library section and scroll down over here and you're gonna find the Fortnite game. Over here, you have to click on this three little dots over here and here you have to go to options. First thing, you have to make sure that pre-download stream asset, this particular setting is off. So make sure this particular checkbox is off. Once this is off, you just have to click on apply. After that, you have to click on this, go to manage and then you have to verify your files. Now, some may say that after verifying also it's not working that's perfectly fine i'm going to come to that in the next step but for now you just simply verify try your game see if that helps if it doesn't move to the next step next thing what you have to do is we have to force our fortnite to run on directrex 11. so for that what we can do is and i click on this account step over here and go to settings scroll down over here and then find the games which are installed so there's fortnite over here i'm just going to click on this small little icon and i'm going to type additional command line arguments you have to paste this argument which is a negative d3 d11 this will make the game forced to run on directx 11 and this will fix the crash so make sure if you're facing crashes make sure the additional command line arguments you put d3 d11 once this is done you can close your epic games launcher restart it and then try a game see if that helps next step what you can do is this is for those players who are verifying the game but still it's not working what you can do is go to the engine folder binaries this particular folder, this binaries folder, you can simply permanently delete it. Just delete the binaries folder. There's one more binaries folder inside the Fortnite game, which is here. So two binaries folders are there in the Fortnite directory. Make sure you delete both of them. Once you delete, you have to open your Epic Games launcher. And then once you click on this little dot over here, or maybe in the launch button, you will see the word repair. It will re-download those files. And if any corrupted files are present, which is causing the crash, that will be fixed. If directly repair is coming up, simply click on the icon. It will re-download all the files that you have deleted, or you can click on this three dots and somewhere the repair option will come. If it's still not coming, you can go to manage. And in place of verify, you're gonna find the word called as repair. Once it is repaired, then you try your game see if that helps next step what you can do is there can be other reasons for why your fortnite is crashing so to fix that you have to go to fortnite game binaries win64 easy anti-cheat you have to come to this easy anti-cheat game you folder and open the easy anti-cheat setup now here two things you can do either you can select the current game which is fortnite and then click on repair service or you can simply click on uninstall and then install the easy anti-cheat and this will fix crashes related to easy anti-cheat so if you're facing any issues related to easy anti-cheat this particular thing will fix it up so either you click on repair service or uninstall it you can do both also and then try your game see if that helps next step that you can do is you have to come to your fortnite directory and in the fortnite game in the binaries folder win64 you have to scroll down and you have to find your fortnite application now there are five application files which you can see which one you have to choose well you have to see for the one which is the highest amount of size which is around this one which is around 297 megabytes so just right click on this go to properties and over here two things you have to do firstly put the compatibility tab and make sure you run this program in a compatibility mode of windows 8 and make sure disable full screen optimization is tick so make sure you disable full screen optimization and run this program in compatibility mode and then click on apply okay then try your game see if that helps if you're having issues after this you can just right click go to properties make sure untick the disabled full screen optimization then click apply make sure this is windows 8 click okay try your game see if that helps if by chance you're on windows 11 then you can change it to windows 10 i'm currently on windows 10 i don't have the option to that but if you're 11 probably will get the option for windows 10 make sure you choose windows 10 over here try your game see if that helps next step what you have to do is you have to go to the search bar over here and type in run and over here you have to type this command which is percentage app data percentage click ok once app data loads you have to go to app data go to local and find fortnite game go to save config windows client and you'll find the file game user settings now what you can do is just make sure you right click on this click on rename and just type anything over here so you can type anything whatever you want just change the name of the file from the game user settings to something else launch the game what this is going to do is it's going to make another game user settings file you have to delete that file once you delete the file you have to right click on this rename and remove the things that you have written over here make it as it was before and then try your game see if that helps next step i would recommend you to download the latest drivers for nvidia or amd if you're an amd user you can go ahead and find the latest drivers which is present generally crashes in games happen due to driver issues so if you don't have the latest drivers installed make sure you do it as you can see this is the latest driver which i have already installed so as you can see you have the latest geforce game ready driver if you're an nvidia user you can download geforce experience and from there you can download the geforce driver or you can directly search nvidia website 
to download the latest drivers. If you're an AMD user, do check AMD's website whether there's a latest drivers present or not. If there is, make sure you download it and then try your game, see if that helps. Next step, what you have to do is you have to open any one of your browser and over here you have to type Visual C++ and then click on the very first link from the Microsoft. And what this will do is it will bring out all the latest Visual C++ redistributables which are required in order for a game to run. If all of them are not installed, you may face crashing issues. So make sure that your download from 2013 as 2012 is no longer supported. So 2013, you can click on this latest Microsoft redistributables and from 15, 17, 19 and 22. So you can see all of them. All the exe files are provided you can just download and install them now you may ask a question that how do i know that how many visual c plus plus redistributables i have so it's pretty easy to find out in the search bar you have to type add or remove programs Simply click on it. This thing will come up here. You have to scroll down and find the letter M. As you can see, I've installed from 2005 to 2015 to 2022. So I have all the latest Visual C++ distributables. So make sure you check your ones, whether you have all of them or not. If you don't have, that may be the reason you're getting the crash. So make sure you install all of them, all the Visual C++ redistributables, which are required. So that was a video on how to fix every single crash in Fortnite. If you're still having crashes or any other crash or error message, you can go ahead to my X handle, put a screenshot with a detailed explanation on what problem you're facing. I'll try to help you out as fast as possible. If this video helped you, please don't forget the like button. Consider subscribing, hitting the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.